welcome back to my channel, Katie Tries Things. I'm Katie and each week I like to try new things and share them with you all. This week I am putting together a discounted Easter basket. This is going to be for my best friend's daughter. Just something I threw together that made me think of her. But I thought I would share it with everybody so that you can see how to build an Easter basket on a budget. Almost all of these items are from the Dollar Tree, so you can get a lot of bang for your buck and still keep it under a certain amount. I am going to be adding one special item to this basket, but everything else can be found on Dollar Tree. And I will link the other item below for you to check out. Um, I did get it on Amazon and it is a book that was written by a former colleague and friend of mine. And so I'll make sure to leave that link below so that you can find it. Also, real quick before we get started, the shirt that I'm wearing today is also from a small business and can be found online. The business is called Wire and & Honey. And the same best friend whose little girl I'm making this basket for got me this shirt. I wear it all the time. I love it so much. It says, equal rights for others does not mean fewer rights for you. It's not pie. So if you would like to check out this shirt and others offered, I will link that below as well. All right, so let's get started. So the premise of this basket is going to be centered around fairy gardens because my best friend's little girl loves fairies, loves all of those fun colors and things. Um, but she also loves plants like her mom and I do. So I got these really cute fairy garden items that she can either use to create her own fairy garden or just play with because they're cute little figurines. There is a little bit of a theme here that you'll see as I go. But first I wanted to share this cute basket that I found at the Dollar Tree. You can see that it's got this adorable pattern. This is from their Spring Fling Organization collection. So of course I did get that for only a dollar. And everything that we do today is going to go inside of this basket. The next few things that I'm gonna share with you are just these series of figurines. There are six packs of these. I'm gonna do something a little different with them so that you can see how I kind of Eastered them up for this basket and created a new element of fun with them. I got the fairies and the little accessory pieces. And then I got some packs of garden gnomes that are um, a variety of colors and they actually have some different races represented with them in them as well. So I thought that was an awesome find. And then I have this set of accessories that I will share with you. They're just things like an arch, a bridge, a little cotton candy stand, and the house and grass plot. And then I have just a couple of little accessory items. All right, so let's get started building this basket. So you can see what I'm doing here is taking each of these eggs and placing one figurine inside of them. So there were 18 figurines and 20 eggs. So I did have a couple of leftovers, but I wanted to create fairy garden surprise eggs for this basket. So each one is gonna have something different inside. I did opt not to do candy for this basket because I knew she would get a lot of candy from other places and I figured that this would be something kind of different.
So now what I'm gonna do is take this basket and start arranging things inside of it. You could do Easter grass in this to kind of give it a little filler. I chose not to because I didn't think it would be very budget friendly and I think that the basket looks fine without it. But if you want a fuller looking basket, you can get pretty Easter grass to put inside of it. They make it in paper as well, which would be probably a little more environmental friendly. And it would just give it a raised look to make the basket look fuller. I thought that just for this purpose, I could use the eggs on the bottom and I could just fill the rest of the pieces in around the eggs. And I thought that worked fine. I thought it worked without the grass. If you need to take things out and rearrange them, that's a fine too. You might find that you thought something would look perfect somewhere and then you need that space for something else. So as you can see here, I'm just kind of removing things, rearranging them. That's what's nice about this is that there's plenty of space to move things around and just make it look the way you want it to be presented. And in the end, if you're not happy with it, you can take it all out and start over. It's not a big deal. But here's my finished basket. So all of the Dollar Tree elements in this basket together cost about $15, including the basket and the Easter eggs. The one thing that I will say is these glittery Easter eggs that I found do leave glitter everywhere. I'm gonna be wiping it off of my table for quite some time. But I do love the ones with the designs. I have seen them in white with the cute little designs on them. And there's a lot of different options at the Dollar Tree. I got 20 eggs for $2. That's a pretty good deal. And I just created basically little surprise eggs with them. Each one has a fairy related surprise in it. So just another fun element that you can create in the basket for really cheap. The last item that I'm going to include is this book from Terrence. It is about seven or eight dollars on Amazon, but I'll link that below if you're interested in checking that out. And other than that, this is a great way to create a very, very budget friendly, even with this, it's a very budget friendly Easter basket for a special child in your life. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining me for another video on my channel. If you like what you see in this video, give it a thumbs up and comment below your favorite part of the basket or an idea that you would have for a basket from Dollar Tree. I would love to hear the kinds of things that you do that are a little unique and really fit the interests of that special child in your life. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. And don't forget to follow me on social media. I will leave those links at the end. As always, thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.